How do you do? I, my name is Lieutenant General Romeo Dallaire. Uh, I'm an ex-senator in Canada. I'm a commissioner as part of the Principles for Peace Commission uh, that is looking at uh, how to establish lasting peace. And we've come here to USAIP because it's a forum that I've been here before on child soldiers that I found to be a catalyst for thought and for bringing in people with innovative ideas and desire to change things. There is a fundamental uh, construct uh, in all these different uh, bodies that are in fact engaged in peace and peacemaking and peace building and so on. Uh, of them individually trying to survive. Others are institutions that are looking for work or trying to figure out what their job is. So the first group, it would be like the NGO world and so on and their limitations in regards to neutrality and so on. Another group would be the whole world of uh, diplomacy and the limitations that politicians put on them. But another gang is the whole security group. And one, they're so disparate from the intelligence bodies that have capabilities through to the, the normal military and police and rule of law in, uh, institutions. They're all going up in their own silos and they've been built on the premise that they are an ent entity, specific entity with a specific job. And yeah, I'll, I'll cooperate with the others and I'll coordinate it and I'll collaborate it. But it's all in the fringes. It's not integrating it. And so there's this, this complete disparate scenario of all these things working concurrently, but not being able to integrate into one plan, one, one, one process uh, with, it, with milestones that people have agreed to and tripwires in, in and out uh, of implementation. We have built humility. Uh, we have made the children a dignified dimension of, of the, the population. Uh, we, we have established a credibility. So uh, there's a, we're, we're, we're now a legitimate as a player, not just at training soldiers and training police and uh, with new tactics and teaching them on not to shoot kids, but on the contrary, we're now seen as an instrument of preventing children from being recruited, which means engaging the communities, which is engaging the families, you know, of taking them back or not letting them go or not putting them into scenarios that put them at risk. It has been, in fact, an offshoot of what I've been applying for the last nearly, well, 12 years or so, uh, of trying to bring the child soldier scenario in the forefront of uh, early warning to conflict, uh, of in fact uh, eliminating the recruiting base and the mobilization base of, of belligerence, of sustaining conflict, uh, and ultimately of getting the communities and societies engaged in making children peace and security a fundamental demen the, the dimension or no, instrument, put it that way, of getting belligerents to talk to each other. When I'm in South Sudan and I had uh, the, the politicians, the generals and so on there in just one province, and after an hour and a half of talking with them and with the opposition, they handed over just under 300 kids to me. So that's why I believe that this system will work. Be aware that you are going to face enormous dilemmas, ethical dilemmas, moral dilemmas, legal dilemmas, that you're going to be into the gray zone of what conflict is and what peace can be. And because of that, uh, that complexity and that ambiguity 
is prevalent. It's not just, you know, getting a clear mandate. It is how that mandate could actually be interpreted to be applied. And so to me, the word that I've been articulating very much is you've got to integrate and learn what the other players are doing and how they can ease the burden of these dilemmas by bringing in solutions, by being uh, an assistance to prevent scenarios from going sour and to be proactive. But that means you get, you take your military hat off, you sit down and you talk with people. You take your NGO hat and, and, and sort of uh, uh, influence and you say, yes, I got to talk to these security people because we can exchange information. And so the transparency and the openness is critical in the field in order to be able to handle the extraordinary destructive impact of having to face those dilemmas and not having a solution because ultimately it creates casualties. It creates moral dilemmas that ultimately will burn the gray cells of your mind and you come out of there hurting for life. And so that makes uh, it so significant uh, to find these solutions because we don't need walking wounded coming out of missions. We need to build experience to be able to handle the next one.